Hey guys, it's Misty with Pink Fairy Creations. Today I'm doing Dutch pour and I just showed you how I mix my colors. So it's just Floetrol water and paint. My paints today are 99.8% Arteza paints. The Pearl family, I'll show you um, the picture I posted right before this if you want to screenshot that. So my pillow paint is um, Blix, Blix Acrylics on the website dickblick.com. You can get their titanium white in um, Blix Clerics, if that's pronounced right. Anyways, so my base is exactly mixed the same way as my as my colors mixed with so my ratios are two tablespoons Floetrol, one tablespoon paint, and a half a tablespoon water. So that is how it's measured that's how it is in measurements wise. Alright, so I'm gonna flood this with my white. And this is a 12 by 16 by 6 by 12 is what these canvases are. And I'm just going to let that drain for a second. Maybe. It's the last of it. <laughs> Do I hate it when that happens? I didn't want to have to mix more just for this because then it would be nice and bubbly. Okay. So I'm going to blow out my colors, or blow out my base. That is good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Back to uh, what we were doing. <laughs> Space gray. Sorry, I do weird noises. <laughs> Alright, and the next color is Pearl Rose. I'm doing better about colors, guys. I've purposely been leaving my colors out. Next one is Copper. That fly is going to be the death of me. <laughs> Then we have Pearl White. These are all Arteza so far. Then we got Van Dyke Brown by Amsterdam. One of my faves. Next one is Raspberry Pearl. And the next one. I think I'm missing a color. Nope. 
sorry, that color I just put down was not that one. It is Josonia's um, Claret Rose. That's what that one was. Now this one is Rose Quartz. Sorry, <laughs> I'm horrible at this. This one's Raspberry Pearl. Jeez, I'm horrible. See, that's why I don't tell you guys colors. <laughs> now, Arteza Pearl Deep Brown. My all-time favorite next to Van Dyke Brown. Come on. I hate it when the squeeze bottles do that. Why? Why is it doing that? <laughs> and then if you try to push really hard and then all of a sudden it gets unclogged and it goes everywhere, that's the best. Okay, <laughs> next is Aztec Gold. And then one of my favorites, this is um, a Pearlex pigment called Pink Gold. That's what this one is. This one is so pretty. It has like a nice gold tint to it, like a rose gold. It's so pretty, just like its name, Rose Gold. Now this one is Liquitex Bronze, one of my other favorites. And last but not least, this is Rose Quartz. It's a really nice light pink. Okay. Let's grab my, I'll do a little dash of Amsterdam Titanium White, because we know how that makes nice cells. Well, if you didn't know that, now you do. <laughs> something about it. It just just does s cool stuff. Okay, now I'm going to flood the canvas so that I can blow it over the colors and it helps. The whole reason for this is it helps blend the colors when you blow it over and then when you blow it out it helps it blow in the design instead of just stopping at a halt. It blows it and lets it flow farther. That's the whole reason for flooding your canvas. Makes your paints flow. And you don't have to blow the color, the pillow over your colors. You don't have to do that. That's optional. Well, everything in art is optional, but <laughs> even if you're just trying to do it like everybody, you can do it without, all, all it does if you don't blow it over is it doesn't blend the colors better. That's all. All right, let's blow the color over. All right, wish me luck. Let's torch it first. So torching it gets all the bubbles out, which you don't want them to pop while it's curing after you're all done, and then it leaves a big white spot or a blob of the popped once it's curing. So that's the whole reason for torching. If you don't have a torch or you're scared of one, there's nothing to be scared about. I was terrified of torches, and this thing has become my best friend. All right, let's blow this out. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Where do we start? Okay. so far we'll fix it 
Nothing my little trusty s blower can't fix. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen my uh, little tool I'm going to be bringing out, you're missing out. <laughs> this is on Amazon. It's the world's smallest leaf blower. If you don't have one, I suggest you get one. You'll be impressed. Alright, feel free to mute me while I blow this out. When the paint does not move when you're trying to blow it, all you do is add a little bit of white right above it so it gives it something to slide on. And then it'll move. That part's done. I'm going to take them apart. give yourself credit. Don't just beat yourself up and be like, oh, it's not good, and just keep blowing on it. Take, if you feel like you're getting frustrated, just take a deep breath, put your tools down, step back, and look at it. Because it could be beautiful, and you're just not seeing it because you're too busy frustrated. <laughs> because I find myself doing that quite a bit. Like I, I may put myself out there and put my videos out there and stuff. That doesn't mean that I like my every piece I do and stuff. So give yourself some credit. biggest thing you can do is just step back, look at it, and then and try it again. Remember, if the stuff's not moving, put some white down or whatever color your base is. Don't get your lid in there. <laughs> Don't keep blowing it to where it makes it all muddy like I just did. If you don't have one of these, you can always use your mouth. You can use, uh, I have a, what are those, airbrush? Airbrush guns. I prefer this over my airbrush gun. Oops. Careful, it's a powerful little sucker. <laughs> Okay. 
want to try to move. my mouth really, except for this little spot. all the edges and stuff after we're not on camera because you don't have to watch that it's boring okay well what do you guys think do you like it do you not like it let me know in the comments, please. Be greatly appreciated. Let me fix this spot. This looks wonky.
Please tell me what you think in the comments. Always down to get your guys' opinion and see what you think. Check out those cells. The lacing is beautiful. I love the brown that's popping through. It's like just the right amount of brown. Look at those cells. I love it. Thanks to the Amsterdam white, a lot of it. Sails. The lacing is beautiful. I love the colors. The colors go really well together. Look at those cells. It's amazing. Okay, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. And hit that like button if you liked it. And stay tuned for my tip for today. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. You have a fabulous day. Okay guys, I said I was going to do my tip for today. So this is what I use for my, when I epoxy resin my art pieces. If When I take off the tape on the back side of my art pieces and there's little lumps or bumps or anything that I need to sand, I use this Dremel. But the best part about the Dremel is the part that I use as the attachment. These are sand wheels. And they are perfect because the other ones are all awkward and like flat, like just a straight flat tip of sand right here, sandpaper, and it's so weird to like try to sand it. So these sand discs make it perfect to sand because you just turn it on and you literally just start sanding. I'll show you on this. So here's just a big piece of epoxy with a flower in it. So. You literally can go on the sides just like this with it. And it files it right down. Just takes it right down. Watch this part. And I can go higher speeds too, but. See how that just makes it go flat? Amazing. You can go faster too. literally just is a flat wheel sandpaper wheel so and you can get different grits this one's 80 grit the bag comes with a bunch of different sizes and I'll put the link below um, here's another wheel size that I love so I, I just like the different varieties but this one's bigger than this one it's just fatter so depending on the project so, they're amazing stuff. So you should, if you do resin, you should definitely get yourself one of these. It's better than a nail filer, like the electric ones, because it's more durable and you can do a lot more with it. This one's a cordless one. I got this at Lowe's, but you can get them anywhere. It's just a Dremel. And the pieces are sand wheels, and I'll put the link in the description below. Thanks guys, have a great day.